<laughs> All right, today the uh, Cleveland Museum of Natural History and the University Circle community, well, they're joining forces. They did. They hosted a community watch party. Colton Molesky joining us there live now with all the excitement out there, Colton. As you can see, there's uh, the crowds have thinned quite a bit. There's still a few people around as we get the last few minutes of the eclipse in, but a lot of the crowd has left for the total on the oval. But I still have one person here, Lisa. She is actually a volunteer. She helped out a lot today. But, you, Lisa, you've been working at the museum. You worked here for 23 years. You came back to volunteer for this event. Walk me through what it was like to watch a total full solar eclipse. It was life-changing. I started shaking and crying. I was so moved by it. It was beautiful. So safe to say it lived up to your expectations. It far exceeded my expectations. And you know, not only were you excited for the uh, eclipse, but you have been a volunteer for many, many years here at the museum. What was it like to get other people excited for the eclipse today as well? It was very exciting. We were doing chalk art with the kids and the adults making pictures of what this solar eclipse would look like. Fantastic stuff. Well, Lisa, thank you so much. And again, they are starting to wrap stuff up here. They started, they've been here since 11, and they're starting to close things down here. But you have a couple of people you saw behind me still enjoying the last couple of minutes of that eclipse and still enjoying the atmosphere here. There's still a lot of people very excited to get to see that in person here in Cleveland. Colt Molesky, 19 News.